Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought Through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe what God has done Through us, he's given life to one But isn't she lovely made from love? You guys can do restricted coming at you, so um, I wanted to do a video where I talked about, um, okay, well, let's just start from the very beginning really quick. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I can. I know it's probably going to be a long one, so, um, bear with me or don't. Um, okay, so I had surgery August 13th, 2010. I was 212 pounds a day of surgery. Uh, my highest weight ever was 246. I did Weight Watchers and HCG, um, for... I would say almost a year, May of 09 to August of 2010, so over a year, um, Weight Watchers and the HCG diet and got me down from 140, 246 to 212. Um, I had actually gotten down to 193 on my own and then bounced back up to 212. So I decided slap band surgery. I'm having lap band surgery. I had actually considered it in the past and was denied by my insurance and at that time I was not... Um, financially ready to take on the burden of having a, a loan, you know, a $10,000 loan. Um, and then once I bounced back up to 212, I was like, this is it. I have to do this for myself. Uh, we had paid off our car. Um, we didn't have any other bills. And I said, okay, I'm going to do it. So I did. Um, I am a year plus out, obviously. And I am pregnant. I am 20 weeks, 20 weeks pregnant this week. So I'm halfway done, which is sort of bittersweet. I'm happy and kind of sad at the same time to think, wow, my pregnancy is already halfway over. Um, my dogs are fighting. Um, so, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sort of happy and sad about that. Okay, so I wanted to, I know every week I come on here and I'm kind of like blah, 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 nothing really important. I really wanted to talk about um, some things that, you know, questions that I know I would have, people don't necessarily ask me, but I know that if there was another pregnant girl that had lap band surgery, I would want to know um, what were her thoughts on these certain things. And I have watched a couple of other girls that did have um, lap band, or have the lap band and have been pregnant, and I, I don't really think that they ever made one video where they talked about it. So here I am. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of a mouthful. So I wanted to start with the obvious physical changes. Okay, um, when I got pregnant, I was sitting, I had been at 165 for about, I'd gone over the summer, so I was about four months at 165. Um, I wasn't satisfied there. My goal weight was 145, so I still had 20 pounds to lose at that time. Um, obviously hadn't got there. My fitness level had really dropped, especially over the summer. Um, I don't know, I got really comfortable at 165. I really liked the way I looked. I was at um, a size 12, a medium top, a size um, 34C bra. I was wearing medium underwear. You know, I was happy where I was at. Um, I wore medium dresses from Target. So I was like, damn, I'm in a medium. What's up, M? Um, and then I started to notice this random weight gain. Um, weight gain along with... Um, a desire, you know, a real lack of wanting to go to the gym. Um, and I know on November the 3rd, I went to the gym. I took a sideways body shot that day, um, because it was Wednesday. And I really, I really felt crummy. I really felt crummy at the gym that day. And I got on the treadmill and I was about to run my 5K because I had been running a 5K, you know, almost every two days. And... 
I got on the gym and it was like, oh my god, my boobs hurt so bad, I can't even run. I could barely walk on the treadmill, they hurt so bad. So, um, throughout this pregnancy, so I didn't find out until the day after Thanksgiving, so that was November the 3rd. I instantly thought I was pregnant at that time. So I went another 20 some plus days and then I took a pregnancy test and it was obviously positive. I, I knew it was going to be. I was not shocked really in the least. Yes, I was scared shitless, but not really surprised. So since that time, uh, my breasts have continued to change. Um, they are definitely larger. I'm still in a C cup, but I probably should be in a D cup now, but I refuse to buy new bras. So sports bras, it is. I've been wearing a lot of like nursing bras. I bought two from Target. I really like them. The only thing I don't like about them is that the the thing back here is like really high on my neck, so I'm not thrilled about that. But um, they're definitely fuller. Um, I think Rocky uh, once described or helped me describe my breasts as um, like empty gym socks. They, you know, they, they were hanging and it was just kind of like fat at the bottom and the rest was like empty. Um, they're definitely now much fuller, much firmer. They are a totally different shape than they've ever been. And then I have noticed that my areola, um, you know, the area around your nipple, um, is totally different than it ever has been. And my mom told me, um, you know, your, your boobs totally change when you're pregnant and they never go back to what they were. And, uh, not that mine were great before because they really weren't. I was really, I really hated my boobs. I've never been a... You know, my best asset is definitely not my breasts, so, um, but I, you know, I could live with them, whatever. So now the areola is definitely darker, larger, um, my nipple, sorry, this is like super graphic for you guys, so I would probably X now. Um, my nipple used to, well, like when I wore a bra, it would go flat. Like when I took the bra off, it would just be flat. Um, now my nipple constantly sticks out the way as if I was like, nipping when it's cold. It's always like that. Um, my areola doesn't like shrink the way it does when it's cold, but my nipple is always protruding, which wasn't, I was not like that before. Um, obvious weight gain. I am, as of, I have stopped weighing at home. I'm only going to weigh at my doctor's office. It's too depressing for me to weigh at home. Um, I know everybody's like, why are you so worried about your weight? Da, 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 da. You know, you... Um, you're gonna gain weight and you're pregnant. Okay, but when you have done nothing but focus on your weight since May of 2009, um, yeah, it, it, it's something that's important to me. So that now that I'm gaining weight, it's, it doesn't make me sad. It just kind of pisses me off. Um, and pisses me off at myself more than anything because I know that I'm making choices, not the greatest choices when it comes to eating, but when everything sounds disgusting and all you can think of is dead animals when you're eating, um, it's kind of hard to eat good things. And um, a lot of the foods that I was eating was, eating was like fat-free, fat-free cheese. Okay, that tastes like plastic. Sorry. It didn't taste like plastic before. I don't know. It tastes like plastic now. Um, chicken smells like dead, dead, just rotting dead animal. Um, just a lot of weird things. So um, a lot of my foods that I was eating, you know, when I was losing weight, I really can't do anymore. So whatever with that. Okay, what was my next thing? Um, I have noticed an increase in um, the need to pee. Um, I think everybody has that um, when they're pregnant. I get up pretty much every morning at 3 o'clock and have to pee, which wasn't doing that before. Um, my water probably isn't as good as it should be, um, but, you know, neither is my eating, so what can I say about that? Um, ooh, I feel out of breath. Okay. Um, a lot of people have asked me about constipation. I am the opposite of constipated. Um, I'm, I'm not having diarrhea or anything like that, but I have a very, um, normal pooping cycle. Um, I used to take fiber a lot to poop before I got pregnant. Now I don't even need it. I poop on the regular, for sure. Um, Mama Melanie would be very proud of me. Um, okay, so my mental mindset now that I'm pregnant. How has my mind changed since I've been pregnant? Well, obviously, um, my food choices have sort of gone out the window. I don't really care anymore. I just eat what I can and when I can. Um, I used to force myself not to eat um, when I knew I wasn't hungry. Now I'm like, what's up KFC? Let's get some KFC. And I can't control myself from getting it. It's like I have no 
um, willpower anymore. And, you know, whatever. I'm not totally devastated with that. But, it, um, it definitely has changed the game for me. Um, how am I dealing... Ooh, I feel like I'm about to cry with that. Um, how am I dealing with the weight gain? Well, obviously I've stopped weighing myself at home, like I just said. Um, I am still in a size, like, 12, 14, depending on the jeans. I'm in maternity jeans, obviously. I can't wear regular jeans anymore. Um, but I'm okay with it, you know. I look at myself in the mirror, and it, it's not the same girl I saw when I was really fat, but it's not the, the skinny girl I was seeing before. Um, it's someone in the middle. And, you know, I'm proud of being pregnant. I... It, you know, I'm happy that my body is changing and I see my little baby bump happening. Um, people still tell me, oh my god, you're barely showing. And my first response is, oh, that's because I'm fat. And honestly, I mean, I hate to say it, but fat people don't look pregnant until they're like 30 plus weeks pregnant. So, sorry. I just feel that way. I've always felt that way. Um, nesting. Okay, so I didn't know what nesting meant before last night. I had never heard that term. Um, I was reading through my little The Bump book, and it was like, are you nesting? I'm like, what the hell is nesting? So, as someone from my generation, I did the first thing I know to do. I Googled it. Um, that's like my wealth of knowledge is Google. And so, nesting basically means like this instinct to like clean and tidy, be tidy and organize things and like get rid of all the junk and like make your house ready for the baby. Um, do I feel that? Not particular, particular, mm. That's one of my words I can't say, sorry. Um, anyways. <laughs> it, um, I, I've had that feeling today. I woke up this morning and I was like, seriously, I've got to get my ass in gear. Because I have done pretty much the bare minimum uh, when it comes to cleaning. Uh, we moved a bunch of furniture, furniture around. And usually I'm like super weird about my walls being clean. I know that's like weird, but um, I hate going to someone's house and like noticing that, like, ooh, your wall is dirty. Like, you can see where someone's like put their hand on the edge of the door, like that grosses me out. So I'm super weird about that. So I had some areas on my wall that were like nasty, so I had to clean the walls. Um, the baby's room is done being painted, sort of, um, but there's like little specks of paint on the floor now, which <clears throat> So I've been scraping paint off my tile this morning and mopping and all that jazz. So, uh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about was um, you know, are we sexually active now that I'm pregnant? Yes. Um, okay, this is another personal, personal, personal. Um, Louise and I were not a couple that, like, had sex all the time. We were, like, a sort of, like, once a week couple. That was the normal for us. I mean, if we had sex three times in a week, that was, like, crazy. Um, we just, I don't know, we're comfortable with our once a week. I don't know. Um, we are intimate with each other, you know, throughout the week. I mean, we definitely do the hugging and kissing and all that, but um, to actually have intercourse was like more like once a week. Um, I, I, it's probably cut back a little bit now, uh, mainly because I'm just so damn tired. He's so damn tired. Um, we're not working out like we used to, so um, we definitely were in better shape before. And um, all of you that know that, I mean, when you lose weight, it's like, your sexual desire for each other it definitely increases um you know when you're going to the gym together and you're working out together it's like um you know the sparks fly in the gym and you're like hey baby what's up so i think that that has kind of um gone away a little bit now and um you know there's a lot of stress that comes along with being pregnant a lot of stress that comes along with um you know worrying about the baby's coming and how we do we have everything you know and do we have enough money for this? Oh my god, no, you never have enough money for anything. I'm pretty much sure of now. So, um, that's that. Okay, food, 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 food. I talked about a little bit before about how things taste nasty. Um, that has gone away a little bit now that I'm in my second trimester. I'm actually on the last four weeks of my second trimester now. So, I can't believe that my second trimester is going to be over in four weeks. What the hell happened? Um... I am less impulsive now. Uh, I used to. That's not saying that I'm not totally impulsive because I definitely am. Um, but less so than I was. I am able to make uh, better choices now. I have 
in the last week, actually like in the last four days, three days, um, incorporated coffee back into my diet. I had totally gone cold turkey on coffee. Um, and now that, you know, it's like I've seen the baby, the baby's heart's cool, everything's good, I feel like, okay, I think I can like do a little bit of coffee. Um, I drink about a cup of coffee, if not less, um, and I totally dilute it a hundred million times with milk and um, Tarani, and sometimes I put honey instead of Tarani, so, uh, and I usually do iced coffee now, and before I would do hot, mildly hot coffee. Um, not that ha that has anything to do with the baby, just that's what I prefer now. Um, carbs, I have definitely included carbs back into my diet, and my doctor, my lap band doctor, told me that he thinks that probably, um, you know, if I'm at, if I was at 188 the last time I weighed, um, and that was like in the afternoon, and I always weighed butt naked in the morning, so, um, that weight to me was like plus five pounds, and I was 188, so, um, I think that, or he told me that he thinks that the fact that I quit exercising, I was like a good solid six, five, six days a week. If, if I did four days a week, it was like, who are you and where, where is McKinsey? So, um, I, you know, and I quit exercising at all. So, um, he says that I probably gained 10 pounds just from doing that. And then I probably gained another 10 pounds for, from eating carbs um, I was not eating bread, I was not eating pasta, or I was eating like, you know, tofu pasta, but I was not eating that junk. I was not eating fast food, I was not eating takeout, I was not eating, um, I made my meal every day, um, I made lunch every day, I was very particular about what I ate. When I got pregnant, oh, it was like smorgasbord. So, my lack of activity and my food choices, I think, personally, and maybe this is an excuse, but I really don't care, because this is what I think, um, I really think that a lot of my weight gain was because of those two things, you know, carbs and exercise and water. Well, I guess three things and my lack of water because I was drinking like a hundred ounces of water a day when I was losing weight. Um, so, and now I'm not. But anyways, other than all of that jazz, everything is cool. Um, the baby, I had another appointment last week. I don't know if I told y'all the baby's heart rate was 154, so we dropped from the month before, I was 154 the month before, and now I'm 150, or she is 152. Um, yes, we have decided on a name. Not that we ever were really not decided on a name. Um, Dorothy Ann Ocampo, which is Louise's last name. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited and I really love it. So, uh, he is coming around. Um, and like I said in my last video, you know, I told you it would be a fight to the bitter end. And, um, you know, one day we were laying in bed and I'm like, babe, are you really going to fight me on this? And I mean, I was like getting upset. Uh, and he said, I'm not going to fight you. You know, yeah, I think he likes to like push my buttons about it. But in the end, he will do anything to make me happy. And I know that. Um, and do I take advantage of it? Sometimes. But doesn't every woman? I mean, seriously, come on. Don't hate me for that. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I think so. Um, I have, like I said, four more weeks, 20 weeks, 21, 22, and, well, I guess it's five weeks. At 25 weeks, I'm into my third trimester. So, it's like, oh my god, this is already the home stretch. What? Ooh. Um, and everybody says, you know, what the where I'm at now is like the honeymoon period when it comes to pregnancy, so I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to enjoy it. Um, I complain a lot about being pregnant um, to my family. Um, you know, I ask my mother constantly, like, did you enjoy pregnancy? Because I freaking hate it. Like, it's not glamorous. It's not comfortable. It's not, I mean, it's fun in when you think about it, but it's not fun while you're doing it, if that makes sense. Um, it's kind of like working out, like, I hate every second of it. Like, I really fucking hate it. But the reward at the end, like that post-workout swagger, is so worth it. So I can't imagine what um, post-pregnancy child is going to be like. I mean, I mean, you get what I'm saying? So, we'll see. Um, I am probably going to move furniture into the room today. Um, yes, the furniture is not heavy. Don't freak out. Um, but I, I'm ready. I'm ready to put it in there. Like, I'm overly ready to put it in there. 
So, um, I might post some pictures. I'm going to post a picture or body shot for y'all, and I think that's it. So, sorry for such a long video. Um, and if you stuck with me, I love you. And if you didn't, I understand. So, but if you're seeing this, then you stuck with me. So, alright, talk to you guys next week. Bye.